स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया One feature of elements in the group is their order. So let's see what this is. So suppose you have a group G and you have an element G in G. Then you can consider the sequence G, G squared. By G squared, I just mean the element G into G, G cubed, G to the power four. So this is G into G into G. This is G into G into G four times and so on. So that's an infinite sequence of elements in the group G. And there are two cases. Either these are all distinct or not distinct. In the first case, we say that G has infinite order. In the second case, we say G has finite order. Okay, when we have finite order, we can sp further specify what the order of an element is. So let's just uh, zoom into that case. So suppose G has finite order. Then what do we know? Then we know that g to the k is equal to g to the l for some uh, k not equal to l and you know without loss of generality we can assume that k is strictly less than l okay but we can rewrite this as g of k is equal to g of k g of l minus k and then Using cancellation, we get that identity is equal to G of L minus Q. So there exists an integer R such that G to the power R is the identity. Okay, so in this case, we define order of G. to be the smallest integer k, uh, let's say r, greater than 0, such that g to the r is equal to identity. And um, so for example, the simplest example is if you take the identity element of the group itself, then well identity to the one is itself identity so this is order one but let's look at slightly uh, more interesting cases let's take the group g equals z mod 4 z here we're using uh, addition modulo 4 as the group operation so what are the orders of the elements here so let's make a little table we have elements 0 1 2 3 and we can ask what are their orders so what's the order of 0 well 0 is the identity element of this group we already know that its order is 1 what's the order of 1 so we have to look at 1 okay then we have to look at 1 squared but here we're using the additive notations so we have to look at 1 plus 1 well that's 2 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 3 which is not 0 in z mod 4 but you take 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that's 4 which is 0 in the group so this uh, g to the power 4 is 0 so our order is here is 4 now what do we do with 2 then 2 has uh, 2 plus 2 is already 0 so here the order is 2 and for 3 we'll have 3 3 plus 3 which is 6 which is 2 mod 4 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is 9 which is 1 mod 4 but when you do it 3 times you get 0 
uh, four times. So this three again has order four. So Z mod four Z has four elements, uh, one of which has order two, another has uh, order one, and two elements of order four. Now I'm going to talk about conjugacy of elements in groups. So let G be a group and given two elements G, G prime and G, we say that G prime is conjugate to G, we'll denote it by the symbol tilde. If there exists U belongs to G, an element U in G such that g prime is equal to u g u inverse okay i claim that this is an equivalence relation so to check that something is an equivalence relation we need to check three things reflexivity um, transitivity and symmetry so first let's check reflexivity so we ask given an element g in g is it equivalent to itself is it conjugate to itself so g is conjugate to g just because well can we find an element u which takes such that u g u inverse is equal to g yeah just take u equals identity identity g identity inverse well identity inverse is identity so this is just equal to g so this is uh, reflexive is it symmetric so if g prime is conjugate to g then there exists u in g such that g prime is u g u inverse but we can write this as g is u inverse g prime u but u is the same as u inverse inverse so it's symmetric and to see that g is transitive suppose we have g prime is u g u inverse and g double prime is u prime g prime u prime inverse then g double prime is now we we'll substitute for g prime u g u inverse so we get u into u prime no sorry u prime into u g u inverse u prime inverse which is the same as u prime u g u prime u inverse so this means that g double prime is conjugate to g so conjugacy is an equivalence relation Let's look at the example of the symmetric group. Okay, now to study both order and conjugacy in the symmetric group, we need um, to understand elements in terms of what is called the cycle decomposition. I'll just explain this by example. So, suppose you have a permutation in, uh, let's say, of six letters, uh, W equals 3, 5, 6, 4, 2, 1. So, I've written this in one line notation, namely 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 5, 3 goes to 6, 4 goes to 4, 5 goes to 2, and 6 goes to 1. Now, let's just try to visualize this element. So, I'll think of the... Um, six elements are, are as one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see what W does to these elements. 
Okay, so W takes 1 to 3. Okay, and it takes 2 to 5. It takes 3 to 6. It takes 4 to 4. It takes 5 to 2. And it takes 6 to 1. So when you draw it like this, a very different understanding of this permutation W emerges. What we see is that there are three cycles in W. So we have this 6, 1, 3. Then we have another cycle which is 2 and 5. And finally, we have this very small cycle, which is just 4 goes to itself. So these are called the cycles of W. And the cycle type of W is the lengths of the cycles of W written in weekly decreasing order. So in this case, there are three cycles. Their sizes are 1, 2 and 3. And we write that in decreasing order, we get 3 to 1. So this is the cycle type of W. Okay. So more uh, generally, uh, given a permutation W, I1, I2, IR is called a cycle of W if W of I1 is I2, W of I2 is I3 and so on. W of i say r minus 1 is equal to i r and then W of i r is equal to i 1. So what happens is that these uh, elements i 1, i 2, i r the element W cycles them. Okay, and uh, each permutation W in SN has a cycle decomposition. Now, one thing you can notice that there's some ambiguity in how we write the cycle. We can write this cycle. So, the cycles here are uh, 1, 3, 6, 2, 5, and 4. These are the three cycles of W. And this cycle can also be written as um, 3, 6, 1. There's some ambiguity if it's a circular thing where we start. We can start with 3 and say 3 goes to 6, 6 goes to 1. Or we can also start with 6 and write 6, 1, 3. Here we can write 5, 2 instead of 2, 5. Okay, so these are called the cycles of W and this is how we write them down, the cycles. We just write the numbers in the cycles appearing in their sequential order, just starting anywhere in the cycle. So this is called the cycle decomposition of W. Okay. So now let's see how we can read off uh, order and conjugacy from the cycle decomposition of a permutation. So suppose W is a permutation and it has cycle decomposition um, 
C1, C2, up to CK. So it has K cycles and uh, the uh, length of the cycle we'll call it R. The, the number of elements in the cycle is called the length of the cycle. So this is the cycle of W and this length of this cycle is R. Okay, here we have to postulate that these elements are all distinct. It's implicit in this picture, but it's important. So, suppose this has cycle decomposition C1, C2, CK. So, the total length of all the cycles will be uh, the n, the, the set on which, the size of the set on which uh, w is a permutation. Okay. So, now uh, you can ask what is the order of w? Okay. And uh, let's just start with a simpler example. Let's take w to have just a single cycle. So, suppose w is the permutation uh, 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 6 and 6 goes to 1. Okay, so you can draw this like this. What is the order of this element? So, if you look at w squared, well, it will take 1 goes to 3, right? So, this is w, but what is w squared? So, let me draw w squared. One goes to three, three, two goes to four, three goes to five, four goes to six, five goes to one, and six goes to two. So it doesn't have the same cycle structure. But anyway, we don't really care about the cycle structure of W squared. We just want to know whether W squared is the identity or not. Um, well, to check that is very easy. W squared of 1 is um, 3 w cubed of 1 is 4 and so on w 5 of 1 is um, 6 so w squared w cubed none of these can be the identity element because none of them take 1 to 1 but w6 of 1 is 1. Okay. And you can check that w6 of i is 1 for, is i for all i between 1 and 6. So the order of w is 6. Okay, now let's go back to this element that we were looking at here. It has three cycles and I want to know what its order is. So, what I know is that on this cycle, it will take all the elements back to themselves. If So, if when, so I want to know when is wk equal to identity. Okay, so what we have is that w cubed will be the identity on this cycle. On this cycle, w squared will be the identity and here w already is the identity on just the elements of this cycle. So, if you want w to be the identity on all the elements of the set 1 to 6, then you need a uh, multiple of 3 and 2. Let me state this a little more precisely. So, if i1 
IR is a cycle of W then W to the K IS is equal to IS for all S in 1 to R if and only if K is a multiple of R. Okay, so if um, W has cycle type, cycle decomposition, C1, C2, Cl, where C1 is length of C1 is let's say lambda 1, length of C2 is lambda 2, length of Cl is lambda L, then W raised to K is the identity on the whole uh, is, is equal to the identity in Sn if and only if K uh, is divisible by lambda i for all i equals 1 to L. So if you ask what is the least k? The order of w is the minimum k greater than 0 such that lambda i is divisible by k. But this by definition is the LCM of lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda l. So what we have is the following result. Theorem if W in Sn has cycle type lambda equals lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda L, then the order of W is LCM of lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda L. So coming back to this example here, the order of this element is the LCM of 3, 2 and 1 which is 6. Okay, now let's try to understand conjugacy of elements um, using cycle type. Okay, so let's um, consider again our uh, example permutation which was W equals 3, 5, 6, 4, 2, 1 and I will draw it. Cycle type 1 goes to 3, 2 goes to 5, 3 goes to 6, 4 goes to 4, 5 goes to 2 and 6 goes to 1. Okay, and let's try to do some conjugation. So let's take u to be the element, uh, some other permutation. Let's say u is 3, 1, 4, 2, 6, 5. Okay, and what I want to know is, what is um, u, w, u inverse? Okay, so let's look at what happens to u, w, u inverse. Um, okay, so, so we need to figure out what it does to various elements of uh, the set 1 to 6. So let's look at what happens when we apply u w u inverse to u of 1. Okay, I'm not going to apply it to 1, but I'm going to apply it to u of 1. The reason for this is, well, this is the same as u, then we'll get w u inverse u of 1, but that's the identity. So we'll get u of w of 1. 
Okay, similarly, u w u inverse of u of 2 is u of w 2. u w u inverse in general of i will be u of w i. So what we see is that uh, so u of 1 is 3. I'll just rewrite these things in the same shape. So u of 1 is 3, u of 2 is 1, u of 3 is um, 4, u of 4 is 2, u of 5, 6. Then u w u inverse, it sends u of 1 to u of w of 1. So it sends u of 1 is 3, uh, u of w of 1 is u of 3 which is 4. It sends u of 2, u of 2 is 1, to u of w of 1. So the cycles which is 5. If you just work this out, you will see that you get exactly the same pictures except that i here is replaced by u of i. Okay, so the cycles, so what this equation here means is that if i1, i2, ir is a cycle of w, then u i 1, u i 2, u i r is a cycle of u w u inverse. That's exactly what it's saying. Because if i 1 goes to i 2 under w, then u i 1 goes to u i 2 under u w u inverse and if i 2 goes to i 3 under w then u i 2 goes to u i 3 under u w u inverse and so on. So what we have is that w and u w u inverse have the same cycle time. Conversely, suppose w and w prime have the same cycle time. Then, so let's take, uh, go back to this example that we had on the previous page. We have uh, the permutation, which uh, uh, our original example, which was w equals um, 3, 5, 6, 4, 2, 1. And we have another permutation, w prime, which is given by uh, 1 goes to 6, 2 goes to 2. I'm talking about this one, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, um, 5 goes to 3, and 6 goes to 1. Okay, so this has cycles as we saw, right, 1, 3, uh, 6, 2, 5, 
and 4. This has cycles, um, let's see, 3, 4, 5, so then um, 1, 6. and 2. So I want an element u that takes w to w prime. What I'll simply do is I'll draw u as follows. I will take u to the be the element which I will match the cycles of w and w prime. So I'll take this cycle here and match it with this cycle here. So I'll map this element to this, the next element in this cycle to the next element in this cycle so this is going to be my u and this element here to this then I'll map this element here to this and I'll map this element here to this and I'll map this element to this so my u takes 1 to 3 2 to 1 3 to 4 uh, 4 to 2, 5 to 6, and 6 goes to 5. And then manifestly, I have W prime is equal to U W. U inverse. Okay, this u need not be unique. I could have mapped these cycles slightly differently. Instead of taking 1 to 3, I could have taken um, 1 to maybe, let's just change the mapping on this cycle. So instead of one taking 1 to 3, I'll take uh, 1 to 4. I'll take, uh, then I have to take 3 to 5, right, because after 1 comes 3 and then I can take 6 to 3. So then I'll get another u, which is uh, 1 goes to 4, uh, 1, 3 and 6 change. So 3 goes to 5 and 6 goes to 3. Then again we have the same equation that w prime is u w inverse. Okay, so the theorem that we have is permutations w and w prime have the same are in the same conjugacy are conjugate if and only if they have the same cycle time. So example, what are the conjugacy classes? In S5. So we just have to write down all possible cycle types. So the possible cycle types, so you have the identity element, its cycle type is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Each element is a singleton cycle. 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3. So this consists of the identity element. And uh, the order is uh, 1. You could have something like this, 2, 1, 1, 1, it's, uh, yeah, so an example of such an element would be 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, these are 1 cycles. Sometimes these are omitted because, you know, they don't really um, do anything. Then we have 
uh, 2-1. An example of such an element is cycle type. So I'll, this column will have examples and let me write down the order also here. So the order here would be uh, 1, the order here would be 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the order here would be 2. Then we have 3, 1, 1, we could have a 3 cycle and then 2, 1 cycles, the order here is 3, we have 3, 2, for example this and the order here is 6 and then you could have 4, 1 which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, the order here is 4 and then you could have a single 5 cycle. 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 1. This guy has order 5. So these are all the conjugacy classes in S5. Thank you.